What steps do we need to take to become a true civilization, abandon duality, and become a unification of the natural balance? Discover how this can be achieved in this episode of Intuitive Messages. on Mount Tommy, bringing you this episode of Understanding Unity. Originally I was going to be doing a video based on healing today, but when I woke this morning I was talking to my girlfriend and she was talking to me about how she is starting to understand the nature of healing, working together in unity, understanding the benefit of teamwork, and using that form of reciprocation from what the body does to heal diseases, and using that all together coming together in a form of unity. True balance is mimicking the body. True balance is mimicking nature, mimicking the planet. When you are ill, when you have a disease, your body does not conflict with one another. There are not voting systems in between each organ is saying, no, I'm not going to do that job, that's the kidney's job, the kidney can do that. Or I'm not going to do that job, nope, not going to happen. I need to get some money up front. Or I'm going to hold the left leg hostage, take all the blood out of that left leg and keep it in my right arm until the left leg knows how to pay its dues. The whole idea is that we are looking to unify here. As I have said in previous videos, 2010 represents that of unity. It represents that of coming together. And this is what is going to be happening. It doesn't seem at this moment that we are, but there is situations, there are events that are coming up right now that we can, in a sense, be experiencing very soon. And these forms of events will allow us to say, you know what, this is enough, no more duality. It's time for us to get back to nature. It's time for us to unify. This is unity. You are never going to have peace through the idea of conflict. Duality will only create chaos. It will only create conflict. You are never going to have resolution with that. It's not about the few people out there that are speaking out, that are taking action, that's going to change everything. Only one person can change their own version of the world. In order for the general collective to help create a whole new form of unification, that collective needs to unify. The masses are the ones who are going to bring forth a unification that is well known throughout the entire planet. And we can't do that by still having these forms of duality structures. You have to look at the idea of nature. Look out here. Do you see any of these plants conflicting with each other, battling each other, saying, nope, this is a better space. You can't go over here. Hey, if you want to put that plant here, you've got to pay rent. You're not going to look at your body and having organs conflicting with one another, thinking which one is more important. Every single part of your body is important. It is the whole. It's not about voting for the right president. It's not about becoming president yourself. Those are archetypes. The whole idea of thinking that you just throw money at a problem and that's going to go away that's an illusionary standpoint. The whole true nature, the whole true understanding of coming back into balance is by learning to serve yourself. By serving yourself, you serve others. Helping another person and you having joy by helping that other person is a step in the right direction. Speaking out in community events to help better your town, better your city, looking for improvements, becoming a problem solver, those are the true understanding of unity. It's all of these simple things that just are natural, that are simple. It's not about running for government. It's not about trying to fix up the government. Those are the archetypes. It's about overcoming those forms of idealisms.
Look at nature around you. You don't see any duality to where I am. This is the true understanding of balance. Balance can only come through that idea of being your true self. These plants are being their true selves. They're not conflicting, yelling at each other. They're not pulling up swords and trying to kill each other. They're not shooting prickly things at each other. No. There is peace here. This is the true understanding of balance. You have to understand that in a world like this, to where nature is abundant, you have to observe nature to become part of that abundance. You have to look at your body and see how everything works together as a team to get that abundance. You're not going to get abundance by constantly being at each other's throats, by constantly looking at the picture of thinking we need to have order, we need to have governance. We only have to place certain people in charge because they know what they're doing. Well, look what's happened. Look at the world around you. It's about spreading your observational wings. There are people who just want to confine themselves in an environment and saying, okay, well, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to focus completely on my own environment. Okay, that's a choice. But the whole idea is that you look at an observational standpoint and look at what's going on in the world around you, you can understand that the systems that are in place right now only promote duality, only promote separation. To have a true unification, you need to mimic nature. You need to mimic balance. Because look, again, looking at all that you see down here, peace, prosperity, tranquility. There is no form of duality. This is nature. So we truly have the ability, just by doing those small little things, walking down a street, smiling at somebody, saying, hello, how are you doing today? That changes. That is a form of divinity. That brings forth unity. You are interacting. You are being your true self. It's all those little things, helping another person, speaking out, letting your heart shine out, let yourself be heard. The internet is a great thing for this. It's a great conduit. Even though it is a flawed system, the idea of a monetary system, the whole idea is that you can acquire money abundantly through positivity by following your heart. If you do not see it as something of despair, if you do not see it as something of servitude, if you see attaining money through that abundance, through what is truly passionate for you as a return of energy, as a return of the service you have offered somebody or many people, seeing it in that positive light brings balance. The whole concept of money is the root to all evil is in that sense a subjective perspective. You have the ability to bring forward the idea of positive abundance by acquiring the money you need as a return of energy, as a return to the service that you have offered. When you see it in this form of understanding, you are one step further to achieving a form of balance within yourself. Simply allow yourself to follow your heart. It's not about worrying about paying bills or paying rent or grabbing money. Yes, in that sense it is needed, but there is so much more beyond that. Do not allow that form to dominate you. You are a wonderful, beautiful being of creation. You are on a planet that is so beautiful, that is so divine, that does not judge you for being here. Reflect the idea of balance in your life. Reflect the nature that you see around you. Let that be your balance. This is how you remove karma. This is how you bring yourself into balance, by becoming the balance that you see around the planet that you're on. So take this into consideration. These are the steps that we can do to unify. It's taking simple baby steps and working your way up. The smallest things count, and in working your way to the larger forms, to bring forth an idea of unity. Because when the entire world starts to understand how truly powerful each and every single person is, how blessed every single person is, how incredible, divine, and unique every single person is, there won't be a duality left. It will purge. It will be abandoned. This is what leads us to a true civilization. Understanding balance, understanding tranquility, like the nature you see here.
Thank you very much for watching. I'm Brad Johnson, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.